anything that they're trying to do in the next coming years, man. Gran Turismo will live on forever on a console racer, and they're going to just keep putting out quality content. And I can already see it. It's been like that since I was a kid. Oh, yes. That was amazing. Link and cashback code in the description. Everybody. Welcome back today guys to the channel Gran Turismo Sport we're back today with another update man version 1.36 and uh, it included a couple cars now a couple of them more rare than others uh, but we're gonna start off here with the Super Formula Toyota and Honda I've actually purchased myself one for today and uh, we're gonna test this thing out on the track but a couple things that I wanted to point out about this update uh, was the rare cars that got added in and sometimes you can buy these cars off the marketplace uh, you know for $3.99 or so but the new one that just got added in I thought I was gonna be able to buy this today and actually showcase it and drive it around but uh, the 250 GT Berlinetta uh, it is unfortunately 12.5 million dollars and when I go buy it it doesn't give me the option uh, to go to the marketplace a lot of the other cars uh, will say that maybe the love Ferrari should say that on there no yeah, $399. So there's a couple cars that do exceed, you know, $10 million that it does look like just not obtainable on the marketplace, which I like, right? It's nice to see cars that actually hold their value in game instead of just, you know, buying it and saying that you own that because you bought it. I mean, maybe I'll save up and try to get it very soon, but 12.5 mil, man. What's your best way of earning money on this game? We're going to take a look at some of the newer cars for today in the update, including uh, the Lamborghini Countach, man, 25th anniversary. I don't know too much about the 25th anniversary version of this because I know that it was added in earlier in the game there's a 25th oh we drove the lp400 that's right okay so that was the 74 this is the 1988 25th anniversary here 49 horsepower uh 363 foot pounds of torque the breathtaking fresh and future oh my god I, I had to get that out of the way man my cursor was in the way hold on well pen the lamborghini countach was the company's first supercar unleashed into the world all the way back in 1971 giovanna motor show the original car show the lp500 remained just that as the countach didn't actually go into production until three Three years later with the launch of the LP 400 this was far away the closest car to the radical original design concept for only about 150 of these models were ever made through the years of the LP 400s and the LP 500s went into production in 1985 and 5 but I'm getting at the car is nice okay we're gonna be driving this one for today I've also already bought this and uh, we're gonna be having some fun around the tracks now there was no new tracks that got added in interior on this car holy shit look at that I'm excited for today's session GT Sport thank you guys so much for coming around today and don't forget to slap that like button Sports a great game and this game just keeps updating all the time and you know I'm constantly sitting here thinking why am I not playing this game more often daily right I mean this game is so good man oh yeah as I say it's so good my wheels not work I'm sorry man it wasn't connected properly hold on it's nice and easy around here we got a viper in front of us we're picking it up though remember we're on hard difficulty We're good, we're good. Definitely not your best driver out here, but hey. There's no reason that shouldn't be in, man. My foot's not even letting off the clutch yet. That's the wild thing about it. Come on. Hold it, hold it. Yep, yep. Sorry, sorry. There we go. I'll just, I'll, I'll go as slow as I need to go to get this thing into gear properly now. Oh, that bike was out. Nice outside extension here, trying to get it right. There we go, see ya. I would like to try to maybe go online with a little bit of Norch life with this thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on your outside. <laughs> I'm gonna really cut this in here. There's no, no, no. Like, come on, man, there's no, there's no way. There is no way that this shit is happening. Get a little third person here. Looking around. This thing is a boat, I feel like. I don't know. I mean, we're running with some high powered cars out here, though. She slides. 
trying to be nice and easy with it, getting into gear. Did not touch this man's. I don't know how I did it. Ooh, it sounds good coming through. Excuse me. Brakes are not bad. I gotta really trust them a little bit more, I feel like. This huge G, man, get out the way. Actual boat. Mess, just adjust, just adjust, really? That was my choice of words. Max torque, let's bring this up. We were on three. We're gonna go up to five and five. Just to see, man, just to see here. Here we go. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, let's go back to third. Obviously, right, three and three for me works for drifting, but I mean, maybe they've updated from then, and maybe this is better, I don't know. this here. I can definitely feel the weight of the car a hell of a lot more though right now. Why do I have four ways on? There we go. Not terrible. We missed it. Yeah, we missed it. Let's just slide it then. <laughs> okay. Non-synchronous sequential transmission. Is a gearbox system used in racing. The driver changes gear sequentially. This type of transmission, usually a dog clutch Allowing for faster gear changes is not possible. Control the car's clutch by using a steering wheel with the option fully customized. Option allow configuration. Okay, so it says it's not allowed. Maybe that just means it's going to cut off the clutch. I don't know. I'm hoping. Okay, good news. No more clutch. So that will take away the clutch if I want. There we go. Now I got to get this rig somehow situated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that sounds so good, man. It sounds so much better than what I'm doing. There we go. Those damn rumbles. And we are... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, we're good, we're good. Go, go. Oh yeah, this thing's a good time. I love the fact that I don't have to clutch. I actually can drive properly here. I do have my Thrustmaster sequential set up, and I mean, I can change this at any time here, but I just don't have it currently ready at the moment. So maybe next episode, I'll run the dog box set up. You can hear it though, man. Listen to those gears. Here we go. Ooh, that's satisfying. I don't know what that is, man. That just it feels satisfying now. Getting it into every gear, not having to worry about this shit. I don't know why my foot's even waiting to go on the clutch right now. This thing weighs 1,400 pounds. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Uh, we're going to hop in this thing. It was a million dollars. It's not cheap, man. It's not cheap at all. Now, I do believe there was something set up specifically for this here. GT Leagues, maybe? Oh, there it is. Super Formula Championship. Brand new. Let's do it, man. Can I do it now, though? Limited to the Dallas SF19. Yeah, that's perfect. 16 out of 16 grid. Ooh. We have an overtaking system now. Okay, the car is equipped with an overtaking system, including key KERS and DRS that helps make passing easier during a race. To use this feature, go to options controllers and assign a button to activate the overtake function in the button controls for racing. Okay. You'll receive the following effects when pressing the overtake. Instantly increase engine output. Uh, stores connect energy and batteries. Provide power assistance from the motors. Adjust the wings to reduce air resistance during operation. That, okay, man. They actually explain it. Thank you. I'm not going to worry about it on this race here because I don't think I can change it at this point in time, but I'll have to go back to the main menu and change that. Holy shit. Here we go, man. These are brand new. How do we... How the... How does people see out this thing now? You're not serious. Alright, we're just kind of cruising right here. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. We're at Suzuka. This is going to be wild. 
All of the assists are turned off currently. Oh shit. Ooh, this thing just holds, man. It's a grip beast. We were long, yeah, we were long. There we go, there we go. We stretch his legs. Too much stretch. Okay, yeah, sorry. Ah, look at you there. Hey, okay. Great bounce. No, I want traction. Where'd it go? Yeah, there we go. I, oh, okay, I do the same one. All right, coming around for a fresh lap right here, Suzuka. This is wild, man. This is a crazy update for these things. How fast? Oh, my God. These guys are just going to hold this corner, right? Yeah. Traction is off, remember, so I got to be a little bit cautious. He's gripping, though. Maybe I did. I don't know how anybody plays in this view. I really don't. Back corner. Yes! Oh my god, dude. You just imagine a full-on race on how nerve-wracking this shit would be, man. Wheel to wheel. There's monsters out here. Oh, shit! We're gonna try and take this corner full speed without letting up. Oh my god, I did it, okay. That's crazy. Did not expect that. It's fun, it's a little bit dangerous, right? It's wild. But that's the whole fun of it, though. They do what they did. Oh, that's not what they did. Great, yeah. Ah. It was pretty fun, right? It looks pretty wild as well, too. I, I, just, I just can't believe that they have that massive bar staring at them in the face. How, for one, is that safe? I, like, I know it's safe. It's, you know, it's... It's in case I do believe if it does roll over, but I mean, to the point, are you sacrificing the vision of the driver though, right? I mean, obviously it's not. We got two of the new vehicles. Uh, I wanted to go through and maybe do this every so often, but pick out some of the GT Vision cars, you know, the concept cars that are in the game. And some of them, uh, they look pretty crazy. I'm surprised that I've never actually seen them yet. You know, obviously I'm not ever looking for them, but today I was, and uh, I picked up the DB 100 VGT and this thing was 399 799 horsepower thing though it's all-wheel drive so I don't know really how this is gonna feel I feel like it's just gonna be a rocket ship out there holy shit I, I can't believe that these cars actually end up coming out like this in terms of just you know a space age look almost some of them uh, you know, we'll never see the light of day to a consumer standpoint, but they look pretty appealing though, man. I definitely do enjoy concept cars. Alright, we're gonna go car settings. We're gonna leave traction on for right now just to see how she's gonna feel. And then once I get the feel for the car, that's when we'll unleash the beast out here in a sense. Alright, look at it, man. It looks so wild that we're all the same cars as the one make race. Force feedback, pretty uh, pretty hefty right now. Oh my god. It sounds so good though, man. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Definitely not playing that, but hey. We'll hold her. Oh my god, yeah, this is... Oof. Oh, alright. Okay. It's spitting back at me, man. You see that flame spitting back there? It's a ride. I'm trying to just drive it a little bit aggressive right now because of the traction, but the car's still not letting me. I mean, this is wild. We still don't have, you know, stability on everything, but I'm going to be a little bit more uh, cautious on the pedals here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's let her fly, man. We're going to take flight over this jump. I'm not letting off. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing is absolutely wild, man. Ah! We're out here getting passed by more Vision GT cars. Okay. I thought it was a one-make race, but I guess not. And it looks like I have no cockpit view. A little bit of a shame. I thought I wanted it right. I wanted to see what was inside the spaceship, man. Trying to get behind that outside, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's probably the best backfire in the game. Prove me wrong. Oh my god. Prove me wrong right now. We'll go for it again. Now, the best part is, like I said, we don't even have traction on that. We're going to go ahead and take this off here on this next couple uh, straights here if I can get to it. Alright, traction control completely off. As we just dip a tire. That's not good. 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 I did go with this black and green color. I personally love it. There was actually a lot of colors for this car, but I settled on a nice sleek black. That green insert, you can kind of see it on the car right in front of me. Same, 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 but different, man. They don't got a wheel driver. Oh my god, yep. Yeah. If you guys did come around yesterday for my War Thunder video, it was a special, uh, DLC that came out. It's called Alien Invasion by Earth Thunder. I was shooting the ally craft out there, man. I couldn't believe it. A lot of you guys let me know in the comment section. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know how the hell I managed that, but it was pretty funny that I was shooting them down, or I mean trying to shoot them down without really noticing. And it was saying right on the screen, not to shoot the allies out here. But uh, obviously, right, my dumbass didn't want to look properly, so made myself look like an idiot there, right? It was great. We're trying to pass him on the outside here. Whoa, clean, baby. Clean. 402 currently. 403, right? 404. I can't believe they shoved that right in your face your last time. I mean, I appreciate it, but... It's a little weird. Oh. Okay, right? We didn't, we didn't throw it in the wall, at least. That's okay. Yeah, this thing is an absolute drive. I'm glad I saved this for the last car of the day. Let me know your thoughts down below on the uh, the newest update in the game. Shit. It's also free, right? I mean, you're not paying to get these cars. And Gran Turismo Sport understands that. They know you've already spent your money on this game, right? I mean, this is really the only game. Oh! What? 360 in the damn carousel. Are you kidding me? It's my favorite part of the track. Right? They know you've spent money on this game already, and they are consistently updating the game. If you want to, you know, buy cards, you can do that, but you can also buy it with in-game money. And they don't even allow you to buy the biggest perch vehicle. Right? I'm trying to say, they don't even allow you to buy the most expensive vehicles. They could have easily got 20 bucks from me today by letting me buy that 12 million dollar car. But they're like, you know what? No, uh, you got to earn that shit. Right? That's an admiral company right there, man. Polyphony Digital. They have been doing it better than anybody else, I feel like, for a long time. And they just need more content. And I feel like this is this generation, man. They will be above and beyond anything that they're trying to do in the next coming years, man. Gran Turismo will live on forever on a console racer. And they're going to just keep putting out quality content. And I can already see it. It's been like that since I was a kid. Oh! Yes! That was amazing. Kind of just dropped the gears, spun it out. Yeah, th this is this is probably the most fun I've had on this game in a long time. I just want to see what I can get to on the straight, though. That's where we're really going to tell what this thing can do. This goes just right in my way, man. Get out of the way! Uh, there we go, there we go. Every time I hear that backfire, music to my ears. I love it. Hit me again, man. Hit me again with it. Don't do that again. In the oh, Jesus. Almost 360 to the carousel again. Are you kidding me? This is wild. Least, though, we're going to come up on this straight right here. We're going to get to really stretch these legs here. Ooh, still, I'm coming around with some speed, man. Don't you get in my way. Fifth gear. How many gears do we got, you think? Seven? Eight? I'm thinking eight gears on this thing. I don't know why. 
It's a concept car, right? I feel like it's gonna be crazy. Mid engine though, this thing has been handled like a beat. I'm pretty sure this is mid engine. It feels like it, anyways. You can see the engine just sitting right there in the back. Oh, really? Get out the way, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I gotta hold this thing. Minimal movement. Minimal movement. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Ultra speed. <laughs> a lot of content today, man. A lot of good content. A lot of content that you're going to have to work for or spend your money for if, uh, you know, you don't have $12.5 million like myself. So I'm going to start grinding a little bit on this game. I want to play this more. If you guys want to see more GT Sport content on the channel, please slap that like button down below. Share the video with your friend, man. Do what you need to do out here. We're going to be back on the wheel for another episode. But look at me. It's starting off with the slides out here. We finished off with some really nice slides. I'm impressed. Go down below what Vision GT car you want to see next on in this game, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.